Check one, two. Check one, two. And three, two, and one. If you like shiny paint, this is the video for you. I'm Nick from Hawk Pro Detailing. I'm obsessed with how to find the best everything from carpet cleaning to paint polishing. I've used the rotary on this black forerunner behind me. Okay guys, this is what rotary swirls look like. Oh my heck. I've also used quite a few colorful towels if you're wondering what the heck's going on, just to prevent any sling or dust from getting into all the nooks and crannies. If you've polished paint, you know what it is. But I wanna tell you about the best polish that is combined with a pad that works 99% of the time. Today the shop is a little bit cold, and for whatever reason, a faster method that I use isn't getting me the results I want. So Nick's coming home. Nick is going to find his center with this amazing combo. It reminds me why I loved it in the first place. It is the most amazing polish I've ever used. And if you follow some of these instructions, I mean, check out the rotary swirls. A lot of people freak out when they see these into here, all up into here. It just doesn't look great. Um, you see these little waves. I'm gonna show you how to remove even rotary swirls. So this combo gives you cut, it gives you finish, and it will give you a shot at some of your dreams in paint correction with Koch Chemi M3. And they're amazing. Purple pad. It is a match made in heaven. Okay, y'all, I got the GoPro cam on. Let's get it. All right, gonna get this set up to give you guys some beauty shots. The best thing I can do for y'all is turn off all the lights, get my headlamp going, and uh, check out some of these rotary swirls in the dark. Now, I don't know if you can see, see all these half moons? I hope you can. See these nasty rotary tracks, right? A lot of people freak out when they see these. The cool thing about this Koch Chemi combo is it can take these out in one step. It just requires patience, but the results are insane. So let's get started on this particular panel and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm using the Flex PXC80. When I talk about a polish that's gonna work for me at any given time on any given paint, I like total control. And the smaller your scalpel, the smaller your polisher, the more control you are going to have. And so I'm gonna center this pad back here. I always prefer polishing with three inch. It's a little bit less efficient, but then again, so is polishing paint, having a bunch of ticks, and then having to come back to it later. So that's a little bit wet, because I just cleaned it. I'm gonna spin this out with my air compressor, and then uh, apply some polish. Give it a good shake. Three, maybe four dots. This is all about slow and steady wins the race. You can use this to spread the product, this little half trigger if you'd like. Gentle pressure now. You see how those circles are nice and tight. And it's a diminishing abrasive, so I'm looking through the polish to see if I see any ticks or scratches. And I can sort of adjust in the moment if I do. So I'm looking through this paint, it's looking pretty clear and shiny. You can work it all the way till it's translucent or if you feel you're ready to rock and roll earlier, you can go ahead and stop. 
I'll typically polish the hood horizontal surfaces last just because you're going to get so much dusting going on then you have to wipe on that panel again and every time you touch the panel you have the risk of scratching it so I do my horizontal surfaces like the hood last so it looks pretty grimy okay let's wipe it off and see Give it the old sniffy sniff. Nice light wipe, plush towel. Okay, so let's look at that. That deep fleck that's returned. And you compare it to all these rotary tracks. Here, here, rotary tracks. Boom. So this is what we're going for here. Uh, it's so important now to clean my pad in between every single pass. That's gonna be a crucial part of this. So we'll do that and then we'll return. <sighs> Oops. And you can use your Rupes three inch or you can use a five inch DA. I usually do about two drops after this. There's so many different ways to skin a cat, you guys. I'm just telling you, when nothing else is working, this will. you guys in on a little secret. I learned this trick when I had some really sticky old Jaguar paint and I called Jason Rose from Rupes and we had a long discussion about little half moons that end up being left. I don't know if you can see what I see, but there's this line here. At the end of your polishing pass, what the heck do you do? There's a lot of things you can do. One recommendation is short cycle, so really quick. You don't want to let it sit on the paint for too long, work it too many times, or you can wipe it off and there will still be that half circle. But one little ninja trick I found combining Rupes Uno Pure, it's just their finishing polish, it's not their all-in-one polish. Two to three dots of M3, one little dot of the Rupes Uno Pure, and it gives it more lubrication and working time. I don't know why it works, you're not supposed to combine products, but if you ever get into a situation and it didn't really work with big pads, it's only on the little three-inch pad. Again, this is your scalpel, your precision tool. Obviously, I've dropped a bunch of crud on here. I've had this bottle for a while. We only use it occasionally. Three drops, two drops of M3, one of Uno Pure, and you know, just a quick couple passes. And for whatever reason, those little half circle, half moons will disappear. It's something that I kind of struggle with on this paint, and I really do think it's because my shop temperature is kind of cold as we head into the winter months. But uh, you know, I gotta clean up some compound here, but. This particular panel is looking pretty darn good. And then when you get over to here, um, I still see a lot of those rotary swirls, which I'm gonna get to now. Okay, now we've got the five inch on the dual action polisher. Usually it works great. I just like that scalpel approach, but uh, it's how they look new. You wanna keep them nice and new. That's why we clean them the right way, right? Four. and I'll work this pretty slow.
So what do we think? Should we check it out? Final product? Um, I'm pretty happy with it. What do you guys think? Purple, purple. That koch shemi fire. Ooh. And if you guys like this shine, you gotta check out this paint polishing playlist. Some essentials here. Watch these videos, ask me questions, tell me what you wanna see next. Thanks for watching.